Do you own a MatchX M2 Pro Miner and are you mining the MXC token or Bitcoin? Then make sure that your data dash application and your account are secured 100%. Today on that Techo Guy, I'm going to be sharing an awful experience with you because my account was actually hacked and I'm going to be showing you how to enable two-factor authentication on the data dash app so that you can secure your account and your funds properly. Stay tuned. Okay, so the Match X M2 Pro Miner is quite a popular miner, which is great for mining MXC tokens and Bitcoin as well now. Unfortunately, as I said in the start of this video at the introduction, I was recently hacked and uh, I actually lost around 9,800 MXC tokens and also obviously the 1,500 MXC token fee that went along with it. So whoever withdrew those funds from my account uh, obviously had to pay the fee, which obviously in turn I had to pay myself. So on the screen here you can see the MatchX website so what i'm going to be doing today is basically i'm going to be showing you how you should actually secure your account properly in order to enable two-factor authentication to make your account more secure as well we all know that these miners are quite expensive here you can see the price of the m2 pro miner 2100 euros so that's going to take quite some time around eight to nine months i had calculated at the price of around four cents for the mxc token price in order to get the full return on investment back a few days ago actually the mxc token price had risen dramatically it actually tripled in price and went up to around 11 euro cents so with the tokens that i had already mined i was already at the break even point and i had almost gotten the funds back had those funds not have been stolen i know that match x have recently put out a twitter post stating that you should enable two-factor authentication and that was really a few days ago and i actually did hit back at that because i think they should actually make this clear so match x if you are watching this video please do make this clear so here you can see that twitter post have you set up 2fa on your data dash account without it you are running the risk of having your account compromised okay data dash is a secure wallet but make sure to secure your account and your security add two-factor authentication immediately do it now okay so I think this is great, but this needs to be made much clearer by the manufacturer, by MatchX, when you're actually opening the box. I actually did hit back and I actually left them this comment here. This should be made much clearer by you on the site in big red bold letters and also in the packaging as soon as you open the box and also the application itself. My funds were stolen after two months of mining because of two-factor authentication not being enabled when I thought I had enabled it. I honestly did think it was enabled and apparently it wasn't because when I saw the, uh, the, the withdrawal, the transaction, which I will be showing you on my screen now as well. So here you can actually see when the funds were withdrawn, they were withdrawn on the 13th of December. So that is two months worth of mining because I had started in October. I was thankfully still in the grace period because as you can also see, the health of my miner went down dramatically. It had actually gone down below this percentage. You can see now it had gone down to 48% when the funds were stolen. But I was still at that point mining at 100% health because there is a three months grace period. So it will still let you mine at 100% health regardless of what it was showing me there it, within the first three months of purchasing the miner. Now the three months have passed exactly today or tomorrow. My three months will have passed. So I'm actually going to be mining at the health you can see on the screen there now. So in order to enable two-factor authentication, what you need to do is within the Data Dash app, go to the top right-hand corner and click on the little gear icon and then click on Manage Accounts, click on Supernodes, and then go 
to the last option where you can see mine is disable 2FA but yours will be enable 2FA if you have not yet enabled it. So it's important that you click on enable 2FA for you to immediately enable. And I would do this on the first day that you get this miner and that you actually start mining. Just make sure you do it because I was really wrapped up in just the application and seeing how everything is working that I actually thought that this was going to be enabled and I was going to get a notice for it, but apparently there was no such thing and then it actually slipped my mind and I totally forgot to do it apparently when MatchX and thank you to Latifa and all the team at MatchX for trying to help me solve out my issue. I have now also filed a police report and even reported the, the case to the exchange as well. Hopefully the funds can be recovered. My hopes are not really that high, but hopefully uh, this can be done. So hopefully this can help you to secure your account better. Obviously do take note of the uh, secure phrases that you will get when you enable two-factor authentications and keep them in a secure location. So if you need to actually enable that again, you will have the phrases there for you as well. I then use Google Authenticator in order to be able to get the time-based codes so that when you actually come to withdraw funds, you'll actually need to enter the code from the Google Authenticator app. So guys and girls, I just wanted to show you this very important video, this very important information. It's not a cheap miner already and to recover the costs of the miner, it's going to take quite a bit of time as it is. So this is very important because if your funds do get stolen like they did in my case, it's going to actually take me now longer in order to be able to do that besides the fact that I can't even uh, take part and participate in the testnet of Bitcoin because I did not have enough tokens uh, to begin with. And now obviously I have less. The total I had mined, as you could see on my screen, was over 18,000 MXC tokens had those funds not been stolen. And now since the, the, the withdrawal uh, and the hacking, I have mined over another 7,000 as it stands. And now my account is secure and the two-factor authentication has been reset by MatchX and I actually enabled it again myself because the ironic thing is that when my funds were actually stolen, the hacker actually enabled the two-factor authentication themselves. So then I contacted MatchX so that they could actually disable to a factor authentication again so that I could enable it myself. So thank you very much to Latifa and all the team at MatchX for helping me do that and get my two-factor authentication enabled as it should be and my account secured. Hopefully this will not ever happen again. I thank you for watching my video. I hope that you are staying safe in these tough times as well. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.